Do you remember the iPod, the thing that came out in 2001, that took the world by storm, becoming a massive success, completely revolutionizing the music industry, whose name ended up being synonymous with the word MP3 player, and that despite all of this was killed off just six years later with the iPhone, and that was officially discontinued in 2014? Yeah, if you paid attention to what I just said, you may have noticed something. This year, it's turning 20. For this reason, some people are proposing that Apple should make a new last model in commemoration. What do I think? Well, there's really nothing better to talk about for now, so why not? Here's my concept of a new iPod. So, the idea was to take the iPod and to redesign it adapting it to Apple's current style. Lots of glass, thin bezels, flat edges. You may ask, why is there a click wheel then? Wouldn't it be better if it had a borderless display? Well, then it would just be an iPhone with less stuff. This is meant to be a commemorative product, right? So I think it makes more sense to preserve the iconic aspects of it, like the click wheel that in my concept is like the magic trackpad, so it doesn't actually click but it uses the tactic engine to simulate the feedback. I also changed the icons to use the ones from the new Apple TV remote because they're a bit better, simply. While I was at it, I also remade the entire UI, because the last one looked like this. It's a lot cleaner now. Since one of the iPad's most iconic aspects has always been its shiny stainless steel body, of course I had to keep the element somehow. So it has stainless steel sides, like the iPhone 12 Pro. They will become disgusting 5 seconds after you open the box, but they look so premium in renders, don't they? But I didn't make the back out of stainless steel as well for one simple reason. Wireless charging. Yeah, of course you should have it. The AirPods have it, so there's no reason as to why this one shouldn't. And speaking of AirPods, this one will surely be the most controversial thing of the video. No headphone jack. Yes, on a music player. No headphone jack. Why? Because if Apple ever were to make such a device, I could absolutely see them forcing you to use AirPods with it. And it would be a ridiculous idea. Totally. But they are the ones that remove the jack from the iPhones to push wireless. So when is this coming up? Never. I've seen some people asking for this thing, and sure, a last iPod in commemoration of everything it has been would be very cool, but it's not happening. For some reason, Apple doesn't really care about the history a whole lot. Sometimes they hide some easter eggs in ads or other places, but that's about it. To do what I proposed in this video, they'd have to create an entirely new assembly line. Obviously, they wouldn't really be able to reuse anything as they discontinued the last iPod Classic in 2014. And even in the best, absolutely best case scenario, it would never sell that well. And Apple usually only makes something if they think it has the potential for being an enormous success in some way. A way to maximize this product's success could be to advertise it as a high-end music player. So with an info jack and the best audio quality possible and obviously a very high price but even then it probably wouldn't sell that much and it would be the perfect thing for everyone hating apple to point out as incoherence so it absolutely wouldn't be worth it i've already criticized some ideas proposed by rumors for not making much sense but this one is definitely the least likely to ever happen but it probably would be the coolest. And it's a shame when some cool ideas fail, like the iPhone 12 mini, one of my favorite recent Apple products. In that case though, I have some ideas as to why it happened and how it could have been prevented. I've talked about it in this video here. Anyway, in the extremely unlikely event that Apple makes a new iPod, would you actually buy it? Let me know. Ciao!